everybody, Mr. Edwards here from Wolverhampton Music Service bringing you your second ukulele video. A lot of you taking ukuleles home from schools will have had them sat there and they may well have gone a little bit out of tune. Now the notes you should listen for are these. A, E, C and G. So all you need to do is rewind this video to the beginning and I'll play each of these strings again and you can just get your parents or someone, an adult, to tweak these little tuning pegs until it matches the sound on here. As well as that you can go on YouTube, you can find loads of different uh, videos that show you how to tune a ukulele up. You can even download apps for your phone. But the one thing you've got to watch is, like we said in lessons, is that when you tune the tuning pegs, please do it really gently and just a little bit at a time. Because if you over tune it, if you stretch the string too much, then basically A, it could snap, well that's the obvious one, but also you'll stretch the string too far. You know when you get an elastic band and you pull it really, really tight, when you let go, apart from flying off here, there and everywhere, it never goes back to quite the same length again. So if you over stretch it, you'll wreck the strings and they won't go into tune and stay there. But the four notes, as we said, are A, So if you just play along with that top string and listen, is it a little bit high, is it a little bit low, and tweak the tuning peg until you think that's in tune. It doesn't have to be perfect, but approximately. The next string is the E string. And again, listen to it. Think, is it a bit high, is it a bit low, is it just right? If, it, if you think that's fine, leave it alone, don't bother. And then the next string is your C string. Again, tweak it, listen to it, think, and make the movements really, really, really small. When you've got your ukulele at home, don't let anybody else mess around with it because that's where things go really astray. If it goes a lot out of tune, it's quite difficult to get back in again. And then finally, G for grumble. Remember that goes up a little bit. Remember last week I said it's quite interesting ukulele because most of the strings go down in pitch, but the bottom string goes back up again. Don't worry too much if you think, oh, it's out of tune, I can't do this. It doesn't matter. As long as you're learning to play with the fingers and the strumming, that's fine as well. But if you've got somebody who can have a little go at doing this, it's really useful. But as I say, there's loads and loads of YouTube videos and there's lots and lots of apps that you can install on your phones that show you how to tune and will help you to tune it up. But always get an adult to help you and to work with you. So that's tuning. Now let's try and remember a couple of the things we did from the last lesson. The first thing is how to hold the ukulele. So remember, you don't have it straight on, you have it to the side, tucked under, and that way, while you're holding it, you can support it with this hand, and then you can put your hand on the neck, which leaves your hand free to strum. So that's how to hold the ukulele, remember? Don't have it like this, you can see the strings, always tuck it in and just look over. If you need to look over when you're putting fingers on the strings, you're looking over like this. Now today, again, we don't need to worry about this left hand. It just needs to be thinking about holding it so it doesn't fall, doesn't slip. The next thing that we learned about last time was how to strum the ukulele. The two ways of doing it. And you've got the flying thumbs. Remember, hold your thumb up. And here we go. Let's do eight in a row. Ready? After four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, stop. And always count it. Make sure you stop when we stop. Let's try it again. Eight times. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Now let's do it at a different tempo. 
Then when we mentioned the interrelated dimensions of music last time, those are the building blocks of music, what we use to describe music and how we plan music out. So I'm going to think about a different tempo, a different speed. So I'm going to count it in and I'm going to play it eight times. I want you to see if you can play it the same speed that I counted. Eight times, then stop. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stop. Now let's try it different tempo again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stop. Brilliant. So you've got the different tempo. One's fast, one's slow. Could be any tempo that you want. When you've had a go at this video, have a little play around with things that you know on the ukulele or just strumming open strings and play it at, di at a different tempo so you get the different speeds, you get a different feel. But it's quite useful to count it in so you get used to being able to share the tempo with somebody else. If we were playing as a group and I conduct it, we conduct by giving them the speed. And sometimes we talk about it. In fact, you can do conducting. It's down left, your left, if you look at the video, remember you're looking at opposite, you're looking at me, right, then up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, up, and that's how we conduct the four beats in a bar. Those of you who've had the lessons with me know how to conduct, you've all conducted, you've all stood up and done it, you're all brilliant at it. It's really, really simple, down, left, right, up. Try not to do too many little jumps and jigs with your arm because it looks silly. And nobody can see where the beats are. So it needs to be down, left, right, up. Down, left, right, relax. Okay, cool. So that's the tempo. The other thing we covered last time was dynamics, louds and quiets. Another one of the interrelated dimensions of music. And Let's try it. I'm going to play it four times and I want you to copy the dynamics. If I play it loudly, you play it loudly. If I play it quiet, you play it quiet. So I'll play it several times and in between, you play it back to me. Are you ready? So it's four times each one. One, two, three, four. 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 Now, do you notice what I did with that? Halfway through, I thought, let's change the tempo as well. So I swapped the tempo. I cashed it in a bit slower. So hopefully you picked up that new speed. If you did, well done. Okay, so that concludes today's second lesson on the ukulele. The first thing we looked at was tuning the ukulele up. Remember, get somebody to have a go with you and do it very, very gently. No problem with that. Then we looked at some of the interrelated dimensions of music and how to strum the ukulele using tempo and dynamics. Next time, we're gonna start looking at fixed thumb playing and playing and singing at the same time. You're all gonna to turn to Ed Sheeran. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like us on the YouTube channel, subscribe, and click the little bell icon so that you get notifications of when the next videos come out. See you soon, stay safe.